In this video, we're going to show you how to install a turn signal lever on your Ford Mustang located on your steering column. On the bottom side of our dash, we have our knee board right here, and there's going to be two 8mm screws holding this in place. There's one on the left hand side, and there's one on the right hand side. Let's go ahead, loosen, and remove those. Go ahead and pull our lower panel down. On the left hand side of your steering wheel, you're going to find your tilt lever here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down just a little bit, not all the way, but probably in the middle. And we're going to use a five millimeter open end wrench on the inside of that shaft here for the tilt lever. And we want to go ahead and loosen this. We're actually going to loosen it and remove it. And unthread that. On the bottom side of our steering column, we have this cover. We want to go ahead and loosen and drop down. There's gonna be three Phillips head screws. So go ahead and put your screwdriver up in the hole and fish around. You wanna go ahead and loosen, remove that screw. There we go. Now I'm going to use a small Phillips head screwdriver. You can use a pick or an awl. In this, you, when you insert this here, you're going to go a little, little bit at an angle back. And there's a button in there you're going to be releasing or pushing in on. And you're going to pull on the, on the whole ignition key switch, pulling it outward. So this is the pin right here that you would have made contact with, you're pushing that in. That releases the lock. You can go ahead and set that aside. Now at this point here, we can grab our upper cover. I'm gonna pop that up. And by splitting the covers here, you can pull the lower one over a little bit. On the top side, there is a T20 Torx bit up on the top here. So we're gonna go ahead and get in there, loosen that screw. Pop that one out. Now on the bottom side, there's one right on the bottom of this control unit here. Go ahead and work the signal lever out here. We want to remove these electrical connectors off the back side. I'm going to use a small pick. I'm going to go underneath this little tab here, gently lift up and work that connector off. There's this tab here on the top and there's also one on the bottom of it. There's another connector here that has two little locking tabs on it as well. I want to be careful with these here. We have the harness disconnected. 
install the connectors. Make sure those are both snapped into place. I'm gonna feed this back up and in. Now that we have our signal lever up in place, I'm going to go ahead and install our lower screw. Now if you're having a hard time trying to get this to line up, make sure that the wiring harness is not getting caught on the upper cover tabs in the back side. If it is, you can just go ahead and use a screwdriver and just kind of pop the cover out and over the harness, then this will almost fall right into place. Line up that screw. Now when tightening this down, I'm gonna go ahead and snug it, and then I'm gonna back it off just a little bit. I wanna make sure that this still has some room to adjust. Let's go ahead and get our upper screw installed. Gonna feed that in. Now I'm just gonna move this switch over just a little bit. Get that lined up. And get that screw started. And once you get the upper one started, go ahead and snug that down. And then we're gonna go back to that bottom one and we'll snug that down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull our upper cover over, pop that down into place, and then bring our upper cover into place. And so your ignition switch with the button facing down. Push it in, turn the key back, and remove the key. Install the three screws in your steering column lower cover. Install the tilt lever here. Tighten that down. We're going to install a lower cover on the top side. There are three metal retaining tabs that pop into the lower portion of the dash. Once we get that popped in, we'll install the two lower bolts. Let's go ahead and tighten down those bolts. Once those bottom out, give them about a good quarter turn. Once you've tightened down those bolts, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.